365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Savala. Come, join us. Let's see what God has in store for you. Hello, friend. We're so glad that you're here today, May 17, 2022. Today's devotional is titled, The Day the Banks Close. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this moment with you. As we continue on this week, we ask that your presence be with us each and every moment. Help us to understand today's message. It may help our hearts and our souls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 22, verse 14. And it says, And Abraham called the name of the place the Lord will provide. Is there a story in our denominational history that you can call your favorite? I know what mine is. I read it in an article written by Adriel D. Chilson. According to Chilson, it was 1933 and the Great Depression was hitting the U.S. financial system with all its might. In the midst of the climate of uncertainty, Pastor W. H. William, associate treasurer of the General Conference, ordered his secretary to keep $10 bills in an envelope, dated and stored in the safe, and the same must be done in the next few weeks. Precisely on March 2nd of the year, when Pastor Williams was in the office, he felt a touch on his shoulder, and he seemed to hear a voice say, Go to New York City tonight. Startled, Pastor William prayed, Lord, I am not authorized to do transactions in New York these days. But then he heard the same voice that said, Go. As fast as he could, Pastor Williams headed to the train station, and early in the morning, he was already in New York. What am I doing here? was the question he asked himself. Then the same voice spoke to him, Go to the bank and send the money to the missionaries of each division. Isn't it too early in the month to do this, thought Williams. Still, he proceeded to do so. He went to the first bank and was ready to instruct the tellers to send the remittance of money for one month when he felt he had to send three times the usual amount. Feeling his legs shaking, Williams went to the second bank and conducted the same transaction. Emotionally exhausted, he made the journey back to Tacoma Park, Maryland. That Friday night, Pastor Williams says he slept soundly. On the morning of Saturday, March 4th, another voice woke him up, and that of the town crier shouting, All the banks have closed. The banks have closed all over the country. With tears in his eyes, Pastor Williams realized whose voice it was he had precisely heard and the reason for the haste. After the sun went down, Pastor William received a call from Pastor Shaw, treasurer of the General Conference. In a voice of anguish, he said, Have you heard the news? How will we pay the missionaries? What Pastor Shaw didn't know was that God was ready when the banks closed. No missionary stopped receiving their livelihood. What about the General Conference employees? They didn't either. Remember the envelopes with a thousand dollars that were kept in the office safe for weeks? What an awesome God we serve. As we meditate on today's devotional, let us have a word of prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because when one door closes, it is because you have already opened another. Help us to remember this and continue to trust in your divine providence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. We pray that today's devotional is a blessing to you. May God's love embrace you, and may his presence be with you throughout this day. Please join us again tomorrow for another reading. Have a blessed day. Bye.